Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are doing a video on building a budget home gym from Rogue Fitness. Now you may be asking yourself, Coop, those are very opposites. Rogue Fitness, budget, well, here's how I'm gonna play it. Number one, everybody's budget is different. So some people have a really big budget, some people have a low budget. This isn't just for people that have an extremely low budget. But what I wanna do is I wanna provide a video on people that want to shop at one place, roguefitness.com. They want American-made equipment and they want to do it as cheaply as possible. If I was somebody and I was just like, I want as much value as possible. I want to pay low on shipping. I'm going to go to Rogue Fitness. This is what I would build. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to start on roguefitness.com. One thing I will say, if you'd like some tips on how to save money from Rogue Fitness, roguefitness.com, stay till the end. I'm going to give some of my tips that we give all the time in ways that I personally saved on some of the stuff I bought from Rogue Fitness. Now, there are many different ways to train, and so that's going to kind of dictate what you use in your gym. The first thing I'm going to start with is a rack. I don't think you necessarily need a rack, but I think a rack is very helpful to train with, and having a rack that can do a lot of things is very beneficial. I'll show you some of the racks that they have available and then I'm going to talk through which one I would get. Now I'm also making this for somebody that has basically a two-car garage or similar setup. This isn't for somebody that has just a really small space. Okay so they have all different racks from a four post rack all the way up to their six posts. Those are very overkill for the majority of people. You don't need anything that heavy. The rack that I'm going to recommend is one that I think is very versatile and also very underrated. Look at all these different racks. The one that I'm going to go with is actually not necessarily a rack at all. It is a yoke. Yes, a yoke. I think the yoke is extremely underrated. I think there's a lot you can do with them because a yoke is something that is portable, very safe, and also very versatile, and it's not crazy priced. So the Rogue Y1 yoke is 590 bucks made in the USA and can be used as a squat rack. You can technically use the yoke bar as a pull-up bar. Yes, it's pretty thick, but you can still use it for pull-ups, but you can also use this for yoke walks and sled drags. So you have a sled right here that you can use anytime. So this is something where it's all in one. You don't have to buy a ton of stuff and 590 bucks. So for me, if I was rebuilding my gym and I had a specific budget, this would be my first purchase. Now you can get by without this next accessory. I don't like to recommend anybody training by themselves without these. And these are safety spotters. You can get these from other companies that are cheaper and will work on this rack. But if you're just wanting to go with Rogue Fitness, you just want this rack, you want American made, you're going to have to buy these. And these are the Rogue safety spotter arms. I think if you're going to bench alone, you need safety spotter arms. I don't think it's it's safe to bench without them. So yeah, you have to spend 155 bucks, but that's much cheaper than losing your life. Okay, so we have our squat rack. We also have our sled, which is a conditioning tool. We also have a yoke, which is a conditioning tool. We also have the squat rack where you can use all things and you have the spotter arms, but you need something to put the weight on the rack. So you're gonna need a barbell. The reality is nobody is making better value barbells than Rogue. Rogue is the king of barbells. There's no question. Like you can get a barbell from Rogue or a barbell from a very much more expensive company and Rogues are gonna be right there with them. And Rogue has a lot of different barbells. So it's like, well, which one should I buy? If we're going on the very cheap end out of all the bars that are available you basically are deciding between a rogue echo bar which is the very cheap end and is made after or similar to the rogue ohio bar but has a little bit less polished finish and also doesn't have a lifetime warranty i don't think most people need a lifetime warranty but it's nice to have a bar that has a lifetime warranty and is something that if it ever bends they will take care of you i also have kind of changed some of my thoughts on this but i think for most people most people are not doing olympic lift so because they're not doing Olympic lifting, they're not doing a ton of things in the front rack. And if they're not doing a ton of things in the front rack, then a center neural matters and is helpful whenever they're doing back squats. So I prefer for a lot of people, a more general training bar that does include a center neural. So the bar that I'm actually going to recommend today is going to be their Rogue Ohio Power Bar. Like it's one of the best power bars that's out there. They've got lots of different options from the Black Zinc to the Bare Steel. They've got Cerakote. They've got stainless or so whatever suits your flavor, but because we're on a budget and because this is going to be used in a garage gym, I don't want to choose a stainless steel version because it's going to be too expensive, but I also don't want to choose a bare steel version because it's going to end up rusting and there's just a lot of people that don't like that. I don't think it's really going to tra change the training experience too much, but it's not that much more. It's only 15 bucks more to have it zinc coated. I think it's worth it. It's not going to rust as quickly. It's going to look better longer and I think you're just going to generally get better use out of it. So 305 bucks 
bucks for a barbell that is 200K tensile strength, 29 millimeters, made in the USA, lifetime warranty. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Next, we're gonna talk about what you attach to the bar. That's gonna be weight plates. There's multiple types of weight plates, but you're really just looking at either iron or you're looking at rubber bumpers. Iron used to be the budget-friendly option. That's not really the case anymore. Bumpers now are pretty much just as cheap or cheaper than iron. The problem is, for people that are really strong, like you're not gonna be able to fit as many rubber bumper plates because they're wider than you are iron. So this will change depending on how strong you are or how strong your potential you think is. If you're like me, then you probably wanna use iron. But if you're somebody where your potential, the most you ever really wanna lift is around 400 pounds in any one movement, you're gonna be fine with getting bumpers. So I'm gonna give two recommendations. First, if you just want bumper plates, you wanna be able to drop them, you're doing some Olympic lifting. Anything with the name Echo in it is Rogue's more cheaper end. A lot of those items aren't made in the USA. Some are, but like these Echo bumper plates, they're not made in the USA, but they're also really high quality. These are some of the plates that we recommend most often because they do last a long time, but they're also much cheaper. If you're just looking to save money, probably a 260 pound set. That gives you two 45s, two 35s, two 25s, two 10s, and two 15s. If you want to do a little bit different combination, you can, but I'm actually going to go with iron. The reason I'm going to go with iron is because I want to put more weight on the bar and the iron that I'm gonna go with are the Rogue Deep Dish Plates. These are the ones that I actually have in my garage. I'm a big fan of them and they aren't that much more expensive. So I'm gonna add a 230 pound set. This comes with four 45s and two 25s. I'm gonna add that and then also because you have to have some change plates, we are progressively overloading. I'm gonna add two 10s. They're out of the five pound change plates right now, so we're just gonna have to go with the 10s. I'm gonna add those to cart. And man, weight is really where it gets expensive and it adds up. We have a rack, safety spotters, a bar, plates, and our change plates, and we're over 1,500 bucks. So things have definitely increased in price, but I do think that you're also gonna get a lot of value out of these, and these are all items that have high resale value and will last you forever. Next, I think we need a bench. You can get a bench that's versatile. Rogue's prices on their benches, honestly, they're not the best. Like they make good benches, but there are better values from other companies. But if you're just wanting, like I just wanna go to Rogue, I don't wanna worry about anything else, then this is what I would suggest. Now you can get an adjustable bench, and their probably best value adjustable bench is the Adjustable Bench 3.0, it's still 605 bucks. Like that's pretty pricey, especially when you look at their flat utility bench that's only around 220 bucks. So that's probably more in line with what we're gonna go with. You can go with an adjustable bench, and I understand a lot of people like adjustable benches, I do too, but for the sake of this experiment, we're gonna go with the standard pad because it's the cheapest. We're gonna go with the flat utility bench. This is a bench that I feel like they should update. Like they just haven't done anything with this bench for some time. It's a little outdated compared to what else is out there for the price. There's just a lot of options that I think compete with this and do better. But man, this is a very strong bench because it's got a fully welded frame, mainly USA powder coated, like you can just lift as much as you'd ever wanna lift and it's gonna last forever. Okay, this next one may be a little bit controversial, but I'm gonna go with some dumbbells. And I say it's controversial because it's gonna depend on the type of training you're doing. If you want a lot of weight and you want a lot of increments, unless you wanna spend just a boatload of money and take up a lot of space, then you're gonna need to go with adjustables. Now, there are a lot of adjustables out there and Rogue actually sells quite a few different adjustable options and some really good ones. They sell both power blocks and new bells. So they sell both and those are kind of like both some of my top options. I think the power blocks are probably more durable in the long run, but man, I really like the selectorized version of the new bells. They have been very durable for us so far. They feel like a traditional dumbbell and just a lot of people really like them. These are what I'm gonna add. Now, this is where it gets kind of expensive. It's not as expensive as buying them fixed. So if you just want a couple sets, you can go cheaper by going with a pair of 20 and a pair of 35s or something like that. But I think for most people, for like a legit gym, I don't want to cheap out on this. This is something that's gonna, I'm gonna use for a long time and use in a lot of movements. Dumbbells open up a lot of training for you. I'm gonna go with an 80 pound new bell set. So it is pricey at 745, but the more things you add to your cart, you're buying them all together. Your shipping's gonna be less than buying them all separately and then paying shipping every time. So if you're somebody that just wants to buy it all in one go, you wanna save money, I'd probably go with the new bell 
dumbbells, you could go with the power box and you may save a little bit of money and you'd be able to go up to 90 pounds. It's just kind of your preference, whichever ones you want to go with. I recommend either. Okay, so you've got most of your foundational equipment, but these are going to be some add-ons that I think you could add. One is if you want to do pull-ups on the yoke bar, like you would get yoked. Like you literally would. Your grip would get incredibly well. But if you're somebody that's just like, I don't want to use my yoke every time for pull-ups. I love gymnastics rings. So what I would do is I would get a pair of gymnastics rings, whatever the cheapest rings are, 95 bucks for a pair of gymnastics rings, I'd add those. Trust me, you can get them from much cheaper from other companies. But again, if you want to go with Rogue Man USA, these are the option. I'd also get the ring hanger. I actually have these. Sam's looking at it right now. If you've got a ceiling that has joists that can hold weight, these are seven bucks. But then that would also allow me to have a lap pull down. So what I would do is I would add the Spud Inc. Econo lap pulley system. It's going to allow you to do lap pull downs, something a lot of people like to do. And you can do it using your ring hanger or you may be able to do it on your yoke. You just may not have enough height. You may have to shorten the cord. This allows you to do lap pull downs, pull ups, muscle ups, ring dips. I think you can do a lot there. Then we've got conditioning. So there's a couple options for conditioning. You can go the more bougie route and go with something like a Concept 2 rower. That would be my recommendation or a skier or an air bike. Any three of those, if you use it, just pick whichever one you're going to use most. I think they're all great. They can all get you very conditioned. They, none of them take up a ton of space and pretty much all of them are bond proof. I'd actually recommend the Rogue Echo bike over the Assault bike. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's going to last longer. So any three of those options I'd recommend, but because we're really trying to stay on a cheap route, I'd go with a jump rope. I use jump rope all the time for my conditioning. I think they're super underrated and you don't need like a really expensive rope and you don't need like something that's full featured in a thin rope. Just go with really what's cheapest. So their cheapest rope is the Rogue fixed length. I wouldn't even, uh, uh, yeah, you could go with fixed length depending on your height, 20 bucks. So Rogue fixed length, it's got a nylon cable. So you're going to be able to feel it. You can do double unders if you want to, but you don't have to. Like these are going to be fixed. They last long time. They work really well and it's only 20 bucks. And then lastly, we do need some collars. You're using a barbell. I mean, they've got different collars. Honestly, we've tested literally every collar out there. Don't buy the $15 spring collars. Like get something that's going to last. I could cheap out and go with something cheap, but man, it's only like $20, $30 difference. You might as well go with the best that are out there. It's the Rogue USA aluminum collars. They're literally the best collars there in the world. They're just freaking fantastic. And they're only 55 bucks. That's a gym. I mean, that is serious. Like, if I had a gym like this, I mean, this is nice. So let's just see what we've got in the cart, okay? For our rack, we've got the Rogue Y1 yoke. Made in the USA. This gives you a lot of options to squat, bench, and any other barbell movement where you need something to place it, you can use there. It also gives you a sled for conditioning. Also gives you a yoke for conditioning. It also has spotter arms, so you're gonna feel safe while you're using it. And it's also mobile, so you can move it from inside to outside. Then we got a barbell. You have a fantastic barbell. Rogue Ohio Power Bar, made in the USA. If you want something that doesn't have a center neural, go with the Rogue 2.0, Rogue Echo Bar, or Rogue Ohio Bar. Just depends on the variety you want, but they're all very similar. Then went for plates. We went with the deep dish plates. Although these are creme de la creme plates. Out of all the plates that I have available, these are the ones I use. They're a good value. They're mainly you say ductile iron. They just look so nice. But we have a 230 pound set for 582 bucks. And then also some 10 pounds change plates. They don't have the five pounds in stock, but you're gonna want those and probably some two and a halves. Then we have a Rogue Flat Utility Bench. Not my favorite bench. There are many other options I would recommend over this bench, but it's just too much of a price gap between this and their adjustable bench. So I think for most people, this one's just fine. If you wanna do adjustable bench, then you can prop up the legs. Then we've got Newell Bells. Like man, like think of the variety you got here. So these are adjustable dumbbell. You can do a lot with these. They can go up to 80 pounds at five pound increments very quickly. They work really well. They're gonna last a long time. Wood rings and the ring hanger. Again, body weight movements, you're gonna be strong. You can do pull-ups, you can do push-ups on them, you can do muscle-ups, a lot you can do there. But we add the ring hanger because you can also use the Spud Econo lap pulley for lap pull-downs. This gives you a cable machine of sorts that you can use for face pulls, tricep push-downs, a lot you can do with it, and it's not crazy expensive. Then we have a jump rope for our conditioning. Again, you also have your sled that you can use for conditioning or just lift weights faster. And then lastly, just for safety, you have the Rogue USA aluminum collars. All this comes in at 
3,000 bucks. And so I'm gonna put a zip code in here for the Midwest. Shipping's gonna be 300 bucks. So all this, all in, you can have a legit gym that will have high resale value, last a long time, and get incredibly conditioned, incredible shape, incredible strength for three, 3,300 bucks. Really the only thing that I would potentially change about this personally is I'd add more weight. 230 pounds or whatever, it's just not gonna be enough for most people that are deadlifting. I, I'm, maybe for most people it'd be fine, but if you're really wanting to get strong, you're gonna want more weight than that. But again, under 3,500 bucks, a legit gym. Now I told you there were some ways to save money. Number one, here's one way that I would save money. I would go to the boneyard section. So the boneyard section is essentially their bars and some of their equipment that have a little bit less than perfect finish. So if you go under their deals tab, this is where you're gonna find those. And they come out with these at random. They've got different bars that they'll put in here. Right now they have a Rogue Ohio bar 2.0 S. And then they've got 29 millimeter bars, 25 millimeter, 28 and a half, all that sort of thing. So if I go to the 29 millimeter bars, they're out of stock right now, but around 225 bucks for the same bar that I pretty much just ordered. It just doesn't have the lifetime warranty. For me, I like having the lifetime warranty. For most people, you just have to decide if that matters to you. Is it worth paying the extra money? That's for you to decide. And then the other way I would save money is I'd wait for Black Friday. You really wanna save money? That's the best time to buy because everybody will have sales. But Rogue, particularly, they pretty much have one sale a year, Matt Black Friday. And they actually call it Matt Black November now because it lasts an entire freaking month. And it is glorious. The great thing about Home Gym Black Friday is it isn't like Best Buy or TV Black Friday where you're getting half the price but also half the features. No, for this, it's like the same equipment. You're just getting discounted. And we always go all out for Black Friday to list the deals. So if you're interested in that and want to know the best deals, we'll have it both here and on the website. So make sure you subscribe so you can check it out. Also, this is a series we'd like to do. We'd like to do it on other companies. Are there other companies you would like to see these build outs on and kind of what the price differences would be? Let me know in the comments and we'll decide from those which company we do next. I hope this has been helpful. If I was going to build a gym and I was on a budget, yes, it's not crazy cheap, but I think the value's there. This is how I would build it. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.